it amazes me. It just absolutely amazes me how close-minded some people are. It truly blows me away. I've been doing research. I've been on YouTube, and I've had the opportunity to speak to documentary makers, filmmakers, numerous authors, and some of the best channels that most of you follow on YouTube. And the one thing that gets me every single solitary time is how fast people will leave a comment in the comment section. And you can tell by the comment that they never even bothered to watch the video whatsoever at all. People like to, people like to think that they're, they have it above other people. People are, you know, I'm awake. I'm not one of the sheeple. I'm awake. I know that 9-11 was an inside job. I know that Sandy Hook did not happen whatsoever, that it was a drill. How do I know that? Because one of the children died twice. One of the children allegedly died at Sandy Hook, and then the child died again about a year later at another school shooting in Pakistan, an entirely different country, the exact same child. The same picture we were presented at both events. But I digress. People will see the name of a video, people will see the video, and they will jump right in and say, of course we landed on the moon. Of course there's satellites. Of course there's this. Dinosaurs didn't exist because oil doesn't come from fossil fuels. All those things are assumptions, and for the most part, most of them, most of the information that people are using, they're gleaning from websites or videos. Sadly, a lot of people that are in the truth community, quote unquote, get all of their information, all of it, from the internet and nothing else. While some of us actually travel, some of us actually do experiments, some of us actually spend hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of hours, videotaping the sun, the sky, the chemtrails, the moon. Just because all the video isn't up doesn't mean we don't have it. A lot of people just find it really boring. People don't want to look up at the moon for more than a few minutes, even if it is in 4K. I spend so very much of my life looking up at the sky, and I always have since I was a little kid. So that's 40 years, four decades. I came to the conclusion that NASA was lying because NASA is allowing us to see that they're lying. They've shown us the harnesses. They've shown us the green screens. They've shown us people falling when they were supposed to be in a zero gravity atmosphere. They could have avoided that. The same thing with 9-11. There's a lot of telltale things that people are building their entire case that it was an inside job off of the telltale signs that they left. They left them there for us. They don't really care if everyone doesn't believe their story. It's part of the fun for them. These are the same people that start wars with other countries and people in America will stand there and cheer about it. We're going to kill, maim, paralyze, mutilate, burn, and rob and rape people in other countries that had nothing to do with anything. And people in the United States are like, USA. We're the first country that glamorizes our military like a sports team. War is something that should be the absolute last resort, and especially after someone's attacked you. But sadly, we have become the enforcer for the new world order. That's America's role. We are the military might of the new world order, of the scumbags that run this planet. London is the monetary. The Vatican is the religious control apparatus, and D.C. is the military. They only allowed our country to become what it once was because they needed to build the military. They needed to build the technology. Why do you think that after 
self-flying drones, smart bombs, all these other self-sufficient, no personnel needed technologies came to bear that all the industry was sent out of the United States. There's nothing left here. Every single city, for the most part, is a Walmart, is a Walgreens, is a CVS, a bunch of chain stores, McDonald's. There's no mom and pop left. Not from the country that I've seen. There's no agriculture left, for the most part. We have a country of incredibly dumbed down, vaccinated, medicated, people walking around that think they're better than the rest of the world while the rest of the world is looking at us wondering how people could get so overweight so out of shape people that blindly follow what the television says as though the television was some sort of an authority figure not the hypnotic mass control tool that it actually is edmund edward Ed, edward bernays was sigmund freud's nephew. He's the one that brought advertising. He's the one that brought materialism. We're the first species in history, in recorded history that we know of, that run out and buy shiny electronic things. We're not living the way we were created for, and most people don't even believe in creation. Most people don't even believe in God, and that's another in a long line of lies. You're looking at an image right now, if you're still watching, where you should have seen at least 100 satellites traverse the front of this picture, but you have it. This is during the day. The, sun's, the sun should be illuminating the entire face of this rock right now, that is the moon, but it isn't. And that doesn't make any sense, and nobody even questions it. Half of it is entirely invisible in a sea of blue. Everything that we have been told is not what people think, and yet people will drop, walk away from, or become rude to someone that doesn't believe every single solitary thing that they believe, and all their beliefs are made up from information they've gathered off the internet, which is entirely a tool that the same people that have been lying to us for time immemorial own. Everything on the internet, if it's really valuable information that cannot be leaked out, it will not be leaked out. If, you're, if you have a YouTube channel that's hitting the target too many times, they will simply turn it all the way down to low and all of a sudden you will not get any views, people will not be notified of your videos, while other channels are thriving because they're pushing forth nonsense like NASA said this, NASA said that, the magnetics, the magnetopause, UFO, so forth and so on. There's a reason they're allowed to get views because they're not threatening anything that's going on whatsoever at all. And meanwhile, we have people that follow each other. We have people in a quote unquote community that turn on each other at the drop of a hat. If you dare believe something that's different than what they believe, you're an idiot and they are not going to continue talking anymore. Being awake means having an open mind. Believing in something means you've exhausted every means there is possible to disprove what it is you believe. When's the last time you did that? I've done it for the last 10 years on a great variety of topics, including the moon, including the shape of the earth, including who's really in charge. It's time to wake up, people. We're in a cosmic battle right now. We live in a society that has gone out of its way to prove to you that you are nothing special, that you do not matter in any way whatsoever at all, and it couldn't be any further from the truth. Every single second of every single day, there is a battle going on to take from you the most valuable gift that was ever given to any being, your soul. It's your call. Time's almost up. You've been warned.